Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Gemini friends and friends of Gemini. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So please know that you did find this message at exactly the right time. You're right on time. All messages are timeless, so please, if you do feel drawn to something, I encourage you to take a look. There is something in there you need to see or hear. Um, first of all, Gemini, happy spring equinox here. Um, happy autumn equinox to those in the southern hemisphere. I'm going to get into meditation first. What I saw for you, Gemini, was um, uh, the grass is green is what first came through. The grass is green. And I was getting very Easter vibes, very um, pastel colors. Love it. Okay, Easter's, Easter springtime can be fun. Um, the components that came through next in the message, and I will say I, I do not consider myself personally subscribed to any organized faith, um, particularly Christianity. I am an omnist. I do believe there is truth in everything. But the message that came through next was um, he is risen. So this is something that, like I said, very specific to the Christian faith. Um, but I am non-judgmental when it comes to messages that are coming through. This is something that needed to be said. This is a time where things are becoming new. Spring is about rebirth. Whether you want to look at that through the energy of Jesus or the energy of Ishtar, this time of fertility, this time of regrowth. The next time that the next thing that I saw was an angel on their knees with um, their hands held up and a heart in their hand. It made me think about or made me feel. Um, that something is being offered as far as like the connection to the heart. I feel very much this is like nature, okay? Nature is showing her heart. This is a time of fertility. Like I said, things are going to start growing a bit more rapidly. The next thing that came through in meditation was the Liberty Bell here in the United States. Um, so the Liberty Bell has a crack in it. And this crack started getting filled in in meditation. So the Liberty Bell represents um, freedom and independence here in the United States, or at least at one time it did. <laughs> um, having that crack filled in, I feel like something new is starting, okay, you guys? Like true freedom, true independence. And we are in a time of, um, I, I was going to say Mercury retrograde. Maybe it didn't work. I'm going into Mercury retrograde, feeling that. Um, <clears throat> Pluto and Aquarius, um, great rebirth. Okay. Big change. Change is happening. And last time this happened, it actually was, or it was the French and, and American revolution. So, um, yeah, hang on. Let's see what, let's see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into your, um, tarot messages here, please. Spirit, what do we have for Gemini? And this is the Fortuna deck. This was given to me by a lovely friend and subscriber, Mama Dragon. Thank you so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you here in a second. Um, two, okay, <laughs> great start, you guys. So two of elixirs falls out here first, two of cups. Um, I am very much getting like love, you guys, something starting new, a new, um, a new journey in that vein as far as relationship. Could be business related, could be a friend, um, but I feel like this heart, okay? It actually, this, now that I'm thinking about that image really reminds me of, in the Toth deck, it is the, um, the Knight of Cups, which is the King of Cups in the regular tarot here, or most other tarot. So emotions, possibly your King of Cups. I do feel like there's some love, you guys. Love this, okay? So Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? Thank you guys for being here, of course. And, um, oh, I do still have my 10,000 subscriber contest going on. If you want to join the newsletter there in the comment section there, you'll be entered. It is free to join, free to enter. I'll be drawing the winners on March 25th, okay? Or winner for the 30-minute free reading. So, nine, <laughs> okay, nine of pentacles comes in here. Nine of medallions, you guys. So, nine of medallions here, nine of pentacles. This is, this is a bountiful harvest being in your hope and dream you guys are working toward the grass is green you're trying to make the grass green i feel like you're in this process of like fine-tuning the nitrogen content and the other chemicals that are required to really get that grass to be green 
fighting off the um, parasitic whatever that may be affecting the way that that lawn is able to grow. Maybe you are working working outside. Um, your personal your personal abundance here, okay, you guys. Love to see that. I do love to see that. I do also uh, offer personal readings if you are interested. You can hop into the um, description of this video. Excuse me. Hop into the description of the video here. Check out my website. That is available. So this is the Untamed Tarot. I just got this deck as well. Decided to go the holographic foil route, I guess. I was missing my, my Pokemon cards. <laughs> so Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? Messages for Gemini. This is um, a general message. So Five of Swords falls out here first. This is conflict, hollow victory, fighting for fighting's sake. I do, I do get this energy of like, cool it. <laughs> uh, this could be you. It could be somebody else. But there's like a, okay, like, let's be done now. It's kind of the energy that's coming through. This is a general message. So please take that into consideration. You are extremely intelligent, you guys. You are also a powerful co-creator here. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. Check out your rising moon and Venus as well. North node, any other major positions in your chart? You are a complex and dynamic story, and you're more than your sun side. And I dare you guys to look, okay? Okie dokie. Feel free to check out that lunar eclipse reading as well. I have that as a live that I filmed the other day. There seems to be a lot of... Um, Cancer vibes going around for everybody as far as a message goes. Ooh, okay. Justice, everybody. This is your this is your fear, anxiety, or version. Being Gemini, we are here. I am Gemini Sun. We are here to uh, work towards balance within ourselves and to show the rest of everybody else how that's done. <laughs> to be flexible with change, what it looks like to bring the dynamics of polarity together into a, into a harmonious union. I feel like there is, um, oh, I love that. So there's a brain, <laughs> brain on one side and eyeballs on the other. What I'm getting here is like, there is an anxiety fear version towards seeing something for what it actually is. Like you're weighing the, what you're seeing here with the eyeballs against what it is that your brain is actually seeing because it's the brain that sees, it's not the eyes that see, right? The eyes, I mean, there are, um, components of it that attach that allow the brain to see what is going on here as far as a lens goes like a camera lens but it is the brain that truly sees so there are a lot of complex situations that could be um, combined with that okay <laughs> let's see where this is going I do um, I am offering extended readings as well just a couple quick um, um, details regarding the channel so I am starting to release the signs six at a time every week. So there's going to be a new reading every two weeks here instead of every week. I am, though, offering extended readings for each of these videos. I have a membership set up now as well. You can check that out here on YouTube under join. There is access to members only perks as well as um, extended readings will be a part of that. I am also going to have extended readings for sale individually if you just want to look at it that way. Okay. And those of you that are members of the channel, thank you so, so much for your support. Truly, truly, truly. It does help a whole heck of a heap. All right. In um, everything that I'm doing here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To start off here in the general, you guys, you have Princess of Candles. So this is the uh, Page of Wands. I do feel it's a very like Easter kind of energy or springtime kind of energy here. The, pe the pep in your step, okay? Um, the Page of Wands is not the best at like maintaining forward momentum, which is totally Gemini energy. We're very much starters, not always finishers, um, sometimes, but not always. And that's not always a bad thing either. Um, we go where we're needed, right? This is kind of that energy that I'm getting. There is something coming forward where there is excitement to be expressed. Whatever this heart is that's opening up and being offered here. Um, but isn't that stunning, you guys? So, I don't know. I'll show you the back of the cards here too. I just think they're super freaking beautiful. So let's keep moving forward here. Getting excited about something. I love to hear that. Yeah. Hell yes, you guys. Ten of Pentacles comes in here next. 
I'll show you the back of this card here too, just since this is new. So Ten of Pentacles, this is uh, building and leaving a legacy, you guys. Wealth beyond your lifetime. This is ultimate material and spiritual abundance. Getting excited about, um, I see like a scratch ticket. Like you just, I don't know, bought a scratch ticket because it sounded fun. You had $2 left and it ends up being a winner. There's this energy surrounding something of abundance where like, like you care about what money can do for you, but there is something about releasing the expectation of time frame on something that is allowing um, free passage is what's coming through. Okay. <laughs> okay, Gemini, I see you. I love that. Um, I am going to get... Just a little clarification on this here, please. Spirit for the general for Gemini. And this is um, another new deck I got to actually. 18-bit fantasy tarot deck. 8-bit, excuse me. That's 10 bits too many. <laughs> Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups comes in here. This is, um, is kind of where I'm feeling this energy is starting to be released. Dreamland here at the bottom. This is a card specific to this deck and it doesn't actually have a meaning. Oh, that just fell apart here too. Eight of Swords. This is totally your energy, um, Gemini. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. This is this like holding on, okay, to control of something happening. I need this to happen right now. And you may. But there's something about releasing the control of expectation around time frame. Because we're not in control of that anyway when it comes to manifestation. That is allowing, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, money to come through, you guys. But with the Seven of Cups, there's this feeling of being frozen here, kind of in a dreamland state. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love this deck, too. It's so cute. It's too cute, you guys. Um, I feel like something's going to start moving forward here. Love to see that. So, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, you guys, something... A new you, all right? Losing, losing some weight, okay? <laughs> um 10 of candles is what comes in here next this is 10 of wands one two three four on the timer there as well so 10 of wands is all about releasing a, a burden or weight something that's been um collected over the journey okay good and bad or positive and and negative light and dark less about good or bad just their dynamics right we understand polar you get polar right <laughs> gemini you, you know what i'm saying Something is starting, like a major weight is is being released. I feel like this is like the, like the keystone is being placed or it's being removed. This archway is collapsing, this doorway into a reality that you need not go. Hmm, interesting. Like this is somewhere that you've been... Okay, whatever the Ten of Pentacles is referring to here, this abundance, spiritually, materially, some literal coin. What I see is that you've been staring through this archway like this is how I get, I can see it on the other end of this archway here. I just need to walk through it. But every time you try to go walk to it and grasp it, you notice that it's it's kind of like a dreamland. It's just outside of your grasp. Um, what I'm getting from that is that that, is, that was archway was only meant to be to show you hey this is here like a glimpse into the future to save from that frou-frou song a glimpse of the future could have saved the cindered sister this was meant to show you that something's possible so that you can move towards it but that wasn't ever meant to be your entry point to get there you still got to walk the long way around okay and it's less about the time frame that's involved with that but that's what this ten of candles or ten of wands represents too it's a long journey you're almost there. You're almost there, though. It's okay to let go of what you initially thought was the access point, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys. You guys. The world comes through here next. So speaking of something ending, in the best possible way, you've gone through this entire journey here that the Ten of Wands is talking about. Long, long journey. Almost over. Is that an Enya song? I think that's an Enya song. <laughs> long long journey anyway that's what you guys are doing um the world here this is it could be travel for some of you you may you may be um going on a trip here soon 
somewhere where you can't a retreat for some of you, a place where you can actually like release something that has been what I'm getting is this, this burden or this weight, you can release it at any time, but you may, you may be feeling that you need or you do need permission from somewhere to release it. But what you don't understand is that you can give yourself that permission too, which is okay. Like if we need to reach out for help, sometimes that's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're walking each other home because sometimes we do need help. That's real. But coming through this, the end here, this um, crossing this threshold, you are a badass bitch. I mean, you always are, but and genderless, of course. You are the sorcerer, sorceress, sorcerer them. <laughs> You've gained all of the skills from the rest of the major arcana here, and you're stepping into a new world with the world at your feet. In a positive way. <laughs> guys, you guys. And then dreamland again here at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> uh, magician is what pops out here. Abracadabra, bitch. <laughs> Just like magic, okay? You'll be flying free. So, Gemini, that is one of your cards. Gemini Virgo, the magician energy there. As above, so below. This will to create. I feel like that's what this view into this archway, this dreamland state here, um, for your Ten of Pentacles abundant. That's what that was for, was to help boost your will. Go, ah, that's what I'm fighting for. Well, let me... Let me get my shit together. <laughs> I'm ready for this journey. Okay. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. So um, what you don't, what you may not see here, what is in the dark? Uh, queen of Candles. <laughs> queen of Candles. This is the Queen of Wands. This is um, confidence, authenticity, this bright burning light. The Queen of Wands, just like the King of Wands, they're the top of their suit. Mastering passion, will, drive. It is the, um, we have a couple wands here. So the wand here that the Magician is holding, it's not in this card in particular, but in the standard Rider White, Waite, Smith deck, uh, it is a sorcerer human, okay? Uh, surrounded by that portal. They are holding the wand from the magician, and they are also holding a new wand. So you have like double magic. I don't. This is powerful, you guys. The keystone, though, the key, the key is in the collapse of that keystone. Allow that portal to close because you've already seen that portal was just meant to be a, a viewport. That's what I'm getting. It was never meant to be a portal to travel through. You are working your way around to that reality, though. So what you don't see is this light inside of you that's coming forward. It's coming. <laughs> God, you guys. The magician. <clears throat> Perdonez-moi. What you don't see here. What's in the dark? Your own freaking power. So the magician, again... One of your cards, Lovers, is another one for you. That Eight of Swords is also... Gemini, you popped up here a lot in your own reading. I feel very much that your higher self is um, saying, Hey, <laughs> right here, Gemini, okay? When that comes in, in in powerful positions, I feel like it's an extra alert. Um, you guys are getting so close to what it is that you're wanting to create. The Magician, though, is like the starting point is that willpower as above. So below the chariot is getting that energy moving forward, actually starting to create that at that point. Um, I do have, I do feel inclined to say in the extended, I'm going to have a little blurb here at the end, but I am going into um, specific messages from the higher self. There will also be advice in love and um, what, a person or partner may be wanting you to know right now career advice and highest outcomes and how to get there etc there'll be info on that later but um having your energy come through here so many times <laughs> gemini <laughs> i feel like um check that out if you want to like i said i'll have that available for individual purchase or you can have access to them all through membership 
So um, additional information here, please, Spirit, for Gemini. What can we light up in the dark for them? The Knight of Pentacles. These cute, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. What a cute idea. So Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. <laughs> Very Sagittarius energy here, too. Good news, you guys. Something coming through quickly. I feel like this is as soon as you recognize that this, what it is that you've been seeing here was a, is a glimpse of, of the future you're looking for. It is a glimpse you're using your magic to produce. It is not the path through. Things start moving quickly because you're not diverting energy to like trying to jump through plexiglass. <laughs> um, <laughs> I see like a, uh, a fly running into the window, even though it's open on this side, it keeps running into the other side. Like, nope, I can see it. It's right there. I know. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but the path is literally like just inches over to the side and you're almost there. So Knight of Pentacles is this idea of like, um, this is being stationary, needing to move. I feel like it's just adjusting that trajectory just a tiny, tiny bit, you guys. I love it. <laughs> okay. So your challenge here. Yes. And this makes sense. Uh, moon and Sagittarius energy. You've got and Ten of Wands, so very lots of Sagittarius, lots of Gemini energy. I feel like, because um, Gemini, what is it? Jupiter's going into Gemini May 25th in Gemini season, obviously. Uh, big, this is totally good luck, big abundance, especially for Gemini this year. So good on you, Gemini, good on you. Um, there seems to be something very particular about that period of time that's coming through here, having that much Jupiter Sagittarius energy coming through, but nine of wands, nine of candles. This is the wounded warrior. a need to be resilient. Uh, what it is that you have been building not only, um, is worthwhile, but it has merit for your legacy. Okay. It is your legacy. Nay, your destiny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, the hard part about this is needing to keep going. Success may not be right here, but don't quit now. Okay. This is the challenge. Like you've run into that window enough times. You're tired of running into that window. Totally understandable. I wish I could write this. I wish I could write this. I would do movies. Okay. <laughs> the chariot <laughs> is what comes through here next. As your challenge, the energy of your challenge. And I was just saying that, okay? The magician is the starting point. It's getting everything together like this is what I'm going to create. I got my pentacles. I got my cups, swords, um, wands all ready to go. My spirit's here. We're going to create. And then the charity is putting that energy into motion, is actually starting to manifest. So being in the challenge, that is that is where you're tired, Okay. And the magician requires a lot of energy to manifest. I feel like, though, you've done most of the work right now. The issue is um, maintaining the course, OK? Maintaining, excuse me, maintaining the dream. Um, there, Thank you, spirit. Maintaining the dream, but adjusting your trajectory just a little bit, like I said, with that fly. <laughs> Um, any other information here in the challenge? Any advice for Gemini? Ooh. Four of Cups. Don't miss the opportunity that is coming forward. Don't get negative, okay, you guys? Don't do that. Don't do it now. Not, Gem not now, no, Gemini. You put so much work into this already. Um, the offer that you're looking for, like, it's right in front of your face. Again, like I said, though, you got to... Like, look, you're looking at the plexiglass right in front of you and you keep running into it when just inches over to the side is actually is actually where passageway is. Page of Swords here at the bottom, too. You're being asked to get curious about your process here. What That has come through several times here in the past, too. Um, if you are keeping track of somebody, all right, kind of a spying activity um, over social media, whether because you care about them, you don't care about that. Like, obviously there's something that you're getting out of it. If this is you, that's going on, what's coming through is worry about you right now. Okay. All of that energy that you may be diverting to this individual or that situation, you need that. Okay. Gemini, you need all of that energy right now to get the magician into motion, to move from the Knight of pentacles to a knight that's moving. Okay. 
Can we do spirit animal energy, please, here for Gemini? This is the wild unknown spirit animal oracle deck. The butterfly, because of course it is. I was, um, what was standing out here was the butterfly <laughs> in the area of challenge. You guys are going through a transformation right now. Um, the reason, back to this page of swords activity, action here. Um, the reason why it's important to not worry about what other people are doing right now is because you need that energy. Like you may be making comparisons is what's coming through. The butterfly says that there's patience, there's compassion and grace that's needed in this process of going through this transformation, especially if it's you that's the butterfly. And it seems like it is, you guys. So um, if you are doing that, I feel like there is this, this comparison that's happening egoically and it is draining, it's draining your energy from moving to that chariot action. And it's also preventing you from being able to see the cup here that, that's being offered. Can we get um, additional messages here with the archetype oracle, please, spirit? For Gemini. You guys can totally do this, all right? The grass is greener where you water it. That's what's coming through again. This isn't, okay, that makes sense with the meditation and everything coming through too. Whatever archetype you want to look at, um, whether it's Jesus, you know, this process of, of rebirth, of being risen, that, that um, energy, that concept exists throughout many of our histories, okay? <laughs> um, I think that's one of the more well-known, at least here in... Uh, the states or anywhere that there is kind of a, a Christian dominated faith. Not good or bad. I'm not saying anything about that. It is um, is just to be easily recognized. Okay, we're looking at rebirth. You guys are going through a major transformation. Um, it's important not to compare. Okay, the grass is greener where you water it. So make sure you have your water turned on. The hunter is what comes through here. And I love that this is actually nine as well. Nine. This is also um, the hermit, which is Virgo, which is on the magician card as well. You guys are going through a major spiritual transformation right now. Major upgrade. Upgrade yourself. So the hunter, the seeker, the pursuer, the predator. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eyes. The archetypal journey far this archetypal journey far and wide, seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach. Tales of bravery and feats of strength often result, creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and results-oriented. Like the great hunting, like a combo of Gemini and Virgo. <laughs> Um, like the great hunting goddess Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? Kind of back to this, um, like making comparisons, like I said, you guys, if that's you, if that's something that you're doing here right now, um, the sword is what comes to mind as far as a weapon for Gemini. It is... Truth, it is intellect, it is um, information, it is knowledge, it's the brain, communication. So um, I feel like you're being asked to look how you are, how look at how you're wielding that weapon or how you're using that weapon. Is it to hunt somebody else, you know, or are you hunting for sport or are you hunting for survival, for sustenance? That's what's coming through. Okay. Thank you, spirit. All right, you guys, I love you. So I am going to move into the extended if you want to join me there. Like I said, I'll have a little snippet here at the end. I'll give you um, a look at what we're diving deeper into, or I'll just tell you here, we're looking at uh, messages from your higher self right now, some direction, advice and love specifically, and what um, your person, whether you know them or not, is wanting you to know, career advice, highest outcome and how to get there, and then what the mirror is reflecting to you right now as far as manifestation and reality goes. So um, I'll have a link in the description there too. If you want to check that out individually as an extended, feel free. Uh, you can also hit join for the memberships to uh, gain access to all of them. Okay, you guys. So I will be drawing for the free reading on March 25th, like I said. 
Personal readings are available if you'd like to check that out as well. And I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If you feel called to donate, thank you guys so much to uh, those who have to help this channel. Again, thank you so much to the members. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. You are why I am doing this, okay? So I love you all. Please have a beautiful period here, and I'll see you guys um, very, very soon. All right, bye. Please join me for a signature deep dive into the energy surrounding your sign currently. We're looking at messages from your higher self specifically pertaining to your situation. Advice in love, what is your person's highest self saying? Advice in career, what are your highest outcomes and how do you get there? Also, what is reflected currently in the manifestation mirror connected to your reality? I'll see you guys there. Check out the link in the description of the video or feel free to join the membership for extended readings. Love you.